hello collective welcome back to the platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to center all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you whatever the enemy is playing from you past present future negative energy is dismantled as i have said so shall it be judgment is final okay let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading we have an emperor um, behind the scenes that may be seeing things from a higher perspective and choosing to make some type of decision to make, uh, to bring balance into a situation. Something has been revealed to him about a queen of pentacles that has been taking actions behind the scenes to end someone else's stability, even arranging for someone to be on a live so that they do not receive some type of offer. This is someone who's a liar um, and it may be trying to keep some type of position or stay within a company. They're going to be letting her go. They may want to do it discreetly. Um, someone has been stalking another woman and planning her demise with a group of people behind the scenes. There is something where I think she may have made it seem like she was not part of something or she had let something go. She never did let something go. She's been plotting someone's ending behind the scenes, stalking someone, gossiping, spreading rumors, all kinds of things. This is one of those women who do not really who does not like act her age um this is someone that does nothing but gossip but publicly they pretend like they have it all together there's something like that going on um something someone stalks another energy quite a lot um she may even have like i don't know like people in your neighborhood your your work the companies you work for watching you reporting back to her because this is something she does regularly this is normal for this kind of person and this is something she does in the company that she works for as well she has people watching everybody else is that you watch tom tom watch mary mary watches you there's someone watching uh, uh, uh you as well you tom, everybody's watching everybody and reporting back to her um there's something like this going on this woman is going to be let go from a company she will be being dismissed like someone is going to be dismissed and she will not be able to return to this company so this could be something that she maybe is not expecting but it's going to be happening okay there is absolutely an emperor behind the scenes that wants to balance something out with someone this could possibly be a kink of pentacles seeing things from a higher perspective and wanting to bring balance into a situation for someone who is of high honor and he knows that you are very genuine uh you could have some type of contract with a king of pentacles behind the scenes um but they've been trying to cause some type of blockages blinding him manipulating him trying to talk him out of coming towards you someone is waiting for you to give them the green light so this emperor could be waiting for you to give him the green light to come towards you or to balance something out um but they are absolutely fighting with this emperor to block him from causing or bringing balance into a situation so they're fussing with him fighting with him maybe someone is interested in working with you or getting married to you sees you as your empress or something like that um, but just know that he will be investing in you in time or this is something that you are doing and maybe someone is taking the initiative to block someone from block from ending your investments and things like that because this is what this woman has been doing behind the scenes really quickly there is a family i don't know what this who this family is there you are going through some type of loss i don't know if this is like a a matriarch or a patriarch that's passing away in your in your family or something like you all are taking turns watching this person as they're actively passing away um in order for this passing to person to trans oh yeah they are passing away dang <sighs> in order for this person to transition a little bit more smoothly you're gonna have to forgive this person do not hold any anger in your heart against this person maybe this person was 
difficult to be around or to work with, live with, whatever it is when they were in their younger years. Maybe they were completely difficult to put up with or have to handle. It's absolutely okay. You don't understand why that person was that way, okay? A lot of the older generation members of that community, they had a different life than we have today. We are a lot more privileged than they were when they were growing up. So they had to do things a certain way to ensure their survival and their livelihood. So maybe they weren't as maybe easy to put up with or get along with, understand they had their way of doing things. And you know, a lot of them, they're kind of stuck in their ways of how they live. So there's something where you all may be upset with this person. You say you're angry at them, maybe the way they treated you, or you're just angry at them because they're actively passing away. Um, that's going to make it hard for them to transition over smoothly because you are kind of holding them back. Their soul is going to linger for a long time if you do not forgive them and let go of any type of in negative, negatively intensive energies. Whether that's hate, animosity, unforgiveness, anything like that, you got to let all of that go. Let them know. You, if even right now they're not talking anymore, they're not able to talk to you, just talk to them. Uh, hearing is the last sense that we lose when we're passing away, so they can still actively hear you. Let them know that you forgive them. Let them know that you love them uh, so that he or she. I get a masculine energy. Let them know that you forgive them and you love them. Um, do not read any religious text to this person because that's not going to help them transition to where they need to go to. Okay. Just let them know you love them. You, you, uh, you miss them, but it is time for them to go. You are letting them go wholeheartedly and you wish them the best, right? Um, just let them know you forget, just speak kind words to them because they can hear you all very well. Okay. Uh, also let them know that while they're passing away, they're going to be seeing a being that's going to come to let them into the, to guide them, not let them, but guide them because we all have clearance into the spirit realm. It's just a matter of your mindset where you let yourself go. Let them know that there is a being that's going to come and guide them into the spirit realm. Okay. Um, I'm seeing someone that had a pretty difficult uh, childhood when they were growing up. So they did do things a specific way and it made the people around them a little bit uneasy. But just let them know whoever they are seeing is their guide um, for this lifetime. And they are there to guide them into the spirit realm. Uh, this person may appear to them in like the form of maybe their parent, their, one of their family members, someone they're familiar with. And this is how the spirit realm has it set up. When you are passing away, you will oftentimes see beings that are like relatives, relatives. You maybe had some type of contract with in this lifetime or a previous lifetime, but they are there to guide you into the spirit realm. So that is what that person is there for. Uh, so just let them know you forgive them and you wish them the best. Um, you, um, you will always love them, right? And so that they can transition over to someone is passing away. Um, so that they can transition over. It does not matter how you feel about someone, um, whether you hold some type of unforgiveness in your heart for them. Um, when they're passing away, you do not want to be there speaking negatively to them about them or of them to other people either. Keep the energy as positive or as subtle as possible. Even if you don't have anything po uh, positive to say, it's best to kind of just stay quiet. Um, because that person that's passing away, they're already dealing with a lot of disappointment, a lot of regrets, things that they did in their lifetime when they were younger. So that's already haunting them. You don't want to be there making it worse. Okay. Someone may have been asking for like a practitioner to come and to help them transition and maybe a family told them yeah someone is absolutely transitioning uh, a family may have told them all oh, members of an institution may have told them that whoever they were asking for was not an expert is not an expert that was not for you all to decide so you've accumulated some type of debt on your head for not being obedient for the wishes of the active for the person that's passing away you've done something that has caused some type of karma for yourself okay when people are passing you're supposed to respect their wishes okay but someone is transitioning to the spirit realm uh, this could be like a very high ranking 
or a person in an institution. This could be someone that's religious and things like that. Those religious texts because someone, I don't know if they were like Jewish or some type of very religious person when they were younger. Those religious texts do not help you transition over to the spirit realm. It causes some type of stagnation and you end up somewhere where you should not be. That's it. Ending up in some type of mediocre environment or reality or realm in the spirit realm basically so basically tell him to say that he wishes to return to source not with his mouth with his mind because someone may not even be able to talk anymore they say someone is passing away okay he may not even be able to talk anymore yeah absolutely he may not be able to talk anymore so just tell him in his like to repeat in his mind, I wish to return to source. Okay. I wish to return to source. Someone lived a very interesting life. Yeah. They were asking for high priestess and you all told them that the high priestess was not a professional. They didn't know what they were doing. They couldn't help them, but that was a lie. So now you all have to re uh, help this person with this rite of passage into the spirit realm. Okay. And you may want to practice this because you're going to have to do this quite often because there's about to be some type of plague in your community. It's going to be a lot of people being, uh, people going back home. So you may want to practice that or maybe find a high priestess that is of the light, um, that can help you all regularly because there's something worse like a plague is about to take place in a community. And yeah, get a high priestess that's extremely gifted and know what it is they're talking about. Someone that's pure hearted. Okay. Someone that's pure hearted. It has no ulterior motive to either help this man transition or for future references to help you all transition. Okay. Anyways, let's get back into this re. Uh, yeah. So this Queen of Pentacles in this community that's being let go. Someone is being seen as very greedy. The reason why she took some type of action and tried to block someone's forward movement is nothing but greed. Someone is toxic. Someone is a liar. And she's being, for, being seen for that. Someone was trying to hold someone else's resources back. Keep two people from coming together. Keep someone from receiving their abundance and things like that. Holding on to what does not belong to her. And this has led to some type of loss within a family as well. The whole family is stuck in their mind may have legal issues coming in and going through some type of ending for trying to block someone's new beginning for trying to stop some type of chapter from ending this has to do with the ace of pentacles offer to someone of high honor they will still be receiving this offer and they intuitively know that there is a high priestess within this community that knows that this is going to be taking place but why this queen of pentacles took action to block this wish fulfillment is mostly because of greed jealousy uh insecurity someone is very insecure and an emperor energy sees this about her um yeah so yeah, whoever this is supposed to go to, this privileged lady, high, someone of high honor will be receiving their wish fulfillment. Um, it's almost as though someone, there's some type of um, flip of positions going on. While she's going through some type of ending, you collective, you are going through some type of elevation in life okay someone may have altered some type of deed someone may have stolen something committed some type of fraud this emperor could be like the head of a community that's balancing something out and they're fighting with him to not give you something that belongs to you they were trying to trap you initially but you're not trapped anymore you are free to go free to be um so this is something that's haunting these people a lot okay they're trying to figure out why it is that they're not they're not able to end you or why this man is still choosing to balance something out and that is because the truth is exposed someone sees that yeah he will be maybe someone is even going to come towards you himself uh, to balance something out Someone is going through some type of healing and ascension. I'm telling you, he's freeing himself from this institution or there's someone that he has that's freeing himself from this institution to come towards you. They're putting an end to their relationship with this institution or they're just putting an end to this whole 
collaboration, like leaving a, a toxic institution and starting a brand new somewhere else. Okay. I forgot what I was just about to say, but this is a decision that someone has made and they're committed to this decision as far as coming towards you to balance something out. And this is something they're planning and they have foresight of. It's just a matter of time. For you two to come together this could be an emperor that has emotions for you because he's seeing things from a higher perspective wants to give to you build with you someone wants to have a family with you and this is a solid commitment that he has gone within to see and this is why he's going through some type of new birth rebirth um and bringing some type of balance or justice into this situation someone could be intuitively gifted very powerful as well or this is you and he's seeing that about you as well so behind the scenes he's possibly saying oh so this person is intuitive this person is gifted people oftentimes will use the terminology intuitive because it's a little bit more easier for them to digest and handle instead of saying someone is psychic someone is a uh, a medium the term intuitive or intuition is a little bit more easier for them to digest and to handle but this institution or whoever this is they are going through some type of ending because you're going through some type of new beginning this is something they were trying to block and they're all stuck in their mind about this losing a lot of sleep they're, it's like each member of this community is going through some type of ending themselves like each person that participated in this collaboration to end a star see they are going through some type of ending in their lives and they're burdened by that but why they're going through their endings what you are going to be receiving some type of good news from a king of wands okay that is seeing things from a higher perspective and leaving this institution as well planning to come towards you someone may be under judgment um you may have a few masculines in your energy that want to work with you i don't know if they've been competing with you or something of that nature they do want to give to you but be careful there's only one person in here that does see things from a higher perspective and actually wants to share it with you or grow with you i will not sit around waiting for any offer this is where a lot of feminine energy in the religion in the not religious the spiritual community well in the religious communities as, as well they tend to rely heavily on men coming in to save them do not rely on that okay in the spiritual community sometimes you have women like star seeds empresses for some reason their mindset they'll sit around waiting for a man to come rescue them i don't know why people have that belief system or that those kind of personalities do not wait on anyone to come rescue you okay because so, there's someone in this group of men that are interested in you just coming in to cause you illusions and weigh you down okay and a lot of people here too are way down because they've done so much to block this uh um uh, uh, this union from coming together, right? You could have a high priestess in here that's been stealing from someone else and is about to be going through some type of difficulties as well. It's like she's been stealing, stealing from another high priestess and it's catching up to her. She could be going through some type of tower. It's that someone was hired to take you out, right? And it didn't go accordingly. Someone is realizing that you are just as gifted as they are or you may be even more gifted than they are and they're not happy about this right? They're not happy that you're going to be receiving some type of opportunity. Maybe they told a masculine or a family that family or community that they were more worthy of your inheritance, but they're going through some type of tower and it's weighing them down. They're burdened at night. Um, so just thread with caution. Everyone in here is under judgment. You, everyone in here is under judgment. There's a king of pentacles under judgment for planning and plotting your ending. But someone may be going through some type of transition now because the truth has been illuminated. And, and again, there goes that king of wands and then a king of swords is coming out as well. All three of these masculines are interested in you. There is a king of cups behind the scenes as well that's interested in you. Do not participate in anything that king of king of cups is offering you what i'm getting is that the king of cups is showing up as a king of cups because it's someone you're familiar with but someone out there this is like an ex or someone that maybe you were supposed to have some type of contract with but they betray you someone is trying to force themselves into your energy to prove that you and them are together or you and them are on good terms you probably haven't seen this person in a long time maybe some years uh for quite a while you haven't seen this person but they want people to believe that you and them are still together but you're not they're not going to get their wish fulfillment 
someone is not allowed around you. Okay. This could be someone that may have partnered up with a community to take you out and it did not go according to plan. Someone is under judgment as well. Everyone in this community, in this collaboration, whatever this is, this family is under judgment. This institution, it could be an institution that's under judgment. Uh, there's a higher fan in here that's pissed off as well. I don't think this is the leader of this community. There's a higher fan either. I think someone may have like gone to school to be like a religious person or someone like is very religious, but they are under judgment as well. And they're not happy because something is not going the way they plan. There's a higher fan that's very manipulative and something is being exposed about them. Okay. Someone has been working really hard to destroy a feminine energy behind the scenes. And they could be going through some type of ending themselves. They're going through some type of tower may have some, yeah, they're going through an ending. There's a false higher fan behind the scenes that has been ill advising either like a king of swords, a king of pentacles, and he's going through nothing but endings and chaos in his life because of what he participated in. Someone does not really respect the religion that they are a part of that they went to school for. They don't even believe in their religion. It's just something that's public for them. But behind the scenes, they're nothing but very chaotic. But on the surface, they'll always act like they're genuine. They're a true friend. They're not a friend. Someone is very conniving and everything they do is meticulously planned. So the friendship they offer people, there's an ulterior motive to it. Someone could be very envious of another masculine or something like that, like that or a feminine. Or, I don't know what this is. But there is like a friend to a king of swords or a king of pentacles that says over his dead body that this man is going to get with a woman. So he has been doing everything to block this union from coming together, which it will come together. This is going to be one of those. And this has come up before in one of my reading. This is going to be one of the situations where it's that he's done everything to block you two from coming together. But you two still will come together. And then one day he's going to see the two of you out together. And he's going to be embarrassed because he does not know how you two ended up coming together. Because someone feels that he's blocked all avenues of communications. You two will never communicate. You two will never come together there's something where it's like i don't know if the, if it's the king of swords or king of pentacles when he takes initiates to uh, uh when he takes initiations to like communicate with you someone gets in there and interjects they block the communication because they said over their dead body that this union is going to come together but it definitely will come together because this is a union that is divinely meant to be this is like you are like a gift to a masculine that is interested in you and he's a gift to you you two are supposed to heal each other work together this is your emperor and he will be coming in to balance something out with you he may be going through some type of embarrassment right now because he did something he was not supposed to do but as i said it's still going to be victorious like he's still it's like someone is about to have a friend or a former friend in like a checkmate position like he can't do nothing this could be a king of swords cannot do nothing maybe taking actions as well right to speak his truth to you may not even want to communicate with a queen of swords that's in his energy you may be a queen of swords predominantly but there is a queen of swords in a community or in some type of group that has been orchestrating and ending blocking any type of offers from coming to you and this man knows the truth now okay you could have a king of wands as well that wants to come towards you and is thinking about investing in you maybe taking some type of action to go for it sees you as a queen of cups wants to build a family with you and give you some type of solid commitment as well so you have a lot of masculines in here three masculines we're going to say because they're king of cups from your past it's not even on the menu for you so we're just going to say three masculines that are interested in you but be careful with which one you go with because one of them or a couple of them actually could just be coming towards you to cause you an ending okay someone in here is a liar and it's in some type of I don't know if they're in going through some type of anxiety or fray or something like that because they collaborated with a group of people to betray you. And now that the truth is out, they're a little bit ashamed because they find out that you are truth. You are the truth. You are genuine. You are kind. You rarely are a queen of cups because someone may have told them that you were faking your happiness, your smile. You were faking your love and all of that. But it turns out that you didn't fake anything. You genuinely are a queen of cups. So then whatever, yeah, you, this queen of cups keeps showing up. 
Whatever it is someone told him about you or a group of people told him about you, possibly a whole family that got together to destroy someone, this whole group is going through some type of loss. I told you every member of the group has their own ending. They're experiencing their own setback. It's a chaos. Pandora's box has, yeah, Pandora's box has been released on these people and they're going through endings. It's the entire friend group, community, whatever this is, the family. This is a whole family that's going through endings. They're fighting, arguing behind the scenes. You were not supposed to be here by now. You should have transitioned into the spirit realm a long time ago, but here it is, you're still here. So it's causing problems for these people, um, absolutely. And it's gonna keep going that way because they keep plenty, plotting your ending, okay? So you could have a connection with a king of wands. This is going to be like one of those relationships. If you and this king of wands come together, this is going to be one of those relationships where you two are just, is that people see you two and they'll say, what a beautiful couple and things like that. But this is going to be one of those relationships where it's like, it's a little bit too good to be true. But if this person is actually genuine, then it's going to be something that's actually like, a. Uh, a, a relationship that can be like a role model for other people but there is something i don't know about this kink of pink this kink of wands there's something about him you need to be mindful of this is someone that's coming across as very vain and very much into their looks so i don't know there's something about him that i don't know if this is someone like that gossips a lot someone that's stuck in some type of old childish mentality is not growing like they're supposed to there's something about his mental i don't know what it is there's something about his mental you need to be cautious of okay i don't think someone has like any ulterior motives for you but i think someone may be a bit of a narcissist they're stuck in their ways this is someone that when they come towards you they expect you to kind of google gaga over them because they're good looking so i will be mindful okay uh I don't, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about him. Okay, there's something about him. Like, he has some type of fear of rejection as well. Because what I'm getting about this masculine is that this is someone that hasn't always been responsible with his body. Okay? He has not always been responsible with his body. So this is someone that may use his good looks for things that he should not be using it for. But someone is working on taking their, I guess, their power or energy back or establishing some type of dominance in their life, taking charge a little bit more and being more responsible. So they may want to come in and give to you. They want you to see them as your emperor. They don't want you rejecting them. There's something like that going on here. Someone may want to communicate with you. Um, your ancestors are telling you nothing less than an emperor. Okay, so they want you to be cautious of the people coming towards you. Yeah, this person has chosen. They've chosen you. Someone is stuck in their mind a lot though. Like he goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Someone is, uh, has always been like a juggler. Like he he plays a little bit too much. And he knows that if he comes towards you, this is not something where he can do the same thing with you. So someone is going to have to be responsible. So he may need to go through some type of change, some type of healing. You may be, may be the one that's able to help this person with seeing their self-worth. Because even though this person is good looking or maybe maybe financially well off or something, they don't know their self-worth. They don't have any self-worth. And this is why they've always like just been able to get with anyone and not see the wrong in that. But I think someone is going through some type of change in life where it's like they're starting to see that, you know, the way they've been doing things may not be the right way. Like you're not someone they can just come to and expect you to pull your drawers down because they're good looking. You don't care about good looks. Right. I mean, it does. It's like the it's like a, the cherry on top, but you're not with someone because they're good looking. He's going to have to bring a little bit more substance uh, to your life than just his good looks. And I think he's realizing that uh, someone may be under judgment as well. Someone may be needing forgiveness from you. Someone may have betrayed you. I don't know what this is, but he's living in some type of fear of or anxiety about you not wanting a commitment with him. Uh, but he does want to have a commitment with you, may want to marry you, something like that. But just throw it with caution. Do not be in a hurry for any offer from these people. Yeah, he will be communicating with you. Someone has been going, been going back and forth 
for a long time in their mind about coming towards you and now he's waiting for the green light this could be your emperor just showing up in his king of wands energy you're showing up as the queen of wands out here as well so you two are a match um but this emperor this king of wands has a lot of healing that he needs to go through yeah he does want a commitment with you he has a lot of healing that he needs to go through. So you may be the person that helps this person see their self-worth where they don't feel like they can just go, they, they need to go and just lay with anyone. Someone in here could have gone, I don't know, I, I don't know, both ways or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to leave that. Or it could be the King of Cups that went both ways and you maybe never knew that. For someone out there, your ex did go both ways. And you didn't know that. And he's trying to force himself into your energy and block this new beginning from coming. But you will be victorious. Um, and he has foresight of this. You know the truth, right? And someone sees you as very powerful and, and very protected as well, right? Uh, someone knows that your ancestors are watching you in a call. And you've answered some type of calling, right? To commit yourself to your destiny. And you are in the clear to move forward. Um, so I don't know how this is going to play out with all of these masculines maybe there was a competition already behind the scenes and the king of wands maybe came out as the one that is triumphant and he's the one coming towards you but please just be careful be careful because i'm not sure why it is all of these men know each other they could be from the same community maybe your ex is the common denominator that got all of these masculine eyes on you and maybe for a while none of them really knew yeah this person wants to build with you establish some type of friendship with you uh build a family with you share with you give to you but i think what happened is that maybe your ex it's that someone was doing very well in life and a masculine energy got jealous of you. And so then he may have uh, made it a mission to destroy you. So he may have went and told a lot of lies and gossips about you to third parties that he never should have been talking to. So this is like you show up in like a neighborhood, a company or something, and you are someone that respects yourself. You're very modest, but because he does not want people dating you, uh, people connecting with you, he does not want you establishing any type of connections with people outside of him. He wants to be the only person in your life because someone does not, someone has not been able to find anyone genuine in life. He's not accustomed to being around genuine women and things like that women that are actually who they said they are like you're a woman that when you say you're loyal you are actually loyal you're not out here uh you know giving your pack pack to anyone or just giving friendship and stuff like that to anyone like you're maybe someone that's very polite to be around this this masculine this ex of yours would have known that and would have went out of his way to talk to people in these communities that you were either working at or living in and spoke very ill of you to the higher ups within these communities and then they will have started seeing you in a negative light right instead of seeing you as someone genuine and things like that they will have seen you as like a dark energy because this is someone that will have been lying and things like that on you so this masculine uh, what I'm also getting is that he may have partnered up with maybe like a manager of yours, a supervisor with this king of wands out here. Uh, someone could have partnered up with like a manager or someone that you, you used to work under and he would have gotten in cahoots with them and they would have worked together to destroy your character. Uh, maybe even like invading your privacy that he would have been reporting back to this manager and telling them what it is what's going on in your life and things like that and they would have set things up in a way where it made it look like you were not someone genuine like you were either a liar or something like that okay this masculine of yours from the past is going through some type of ending and is desperate to get into your energy because now the masculines of the communities he was lying to about you have seen the truth about who you really are and he's desperate to block your future so he's trying to force himself into your energy so that he can create some type of narrative that you two are back together you two are on good terms mind you if you see this person you're probably going to call 911 so that they're es escorted off of the premises because you don't want anything to do with this person there is something like that okay there is something like that um I don't, there's someone I get a very eerie energy from a, a ex. Like I saw a masculine in a dream, basically like trying to 
hunt down a feminine energy, trying to get her address, trying to get her number. If he has it, he's trying to force himself into your home. Make it seem that you two have some type of relationship going on. Just thread with caution. You do not have a relationship going on with this person. Someone has lost their mind throwing a lot of temper tensions behind the scenes because they're not able to come in and get you caught up into uh, get you caught up in another karmic cycle with them because someone is not even worth your time. This will be one of those people that are spending like years destroying you, tearing you down and things like that, right? Lying on you, sparing your character. And then you can do like the one simple thing, like say, I'm not attracted to you anymore. or I don't want to be with you. And then he goes on this, grab your pitchforks and things like that, your axes, so we can go and exterminate this person uh, or eradicate this person's life because you've offended them. Never mind the hundreds of things they've done to you and you just kind of let it go and walked away. But the moment you say you don't want to be with this person or you tell them that you're not attracted to them, then you've committed the worst crime in the world. So now they're losing their emotions behind the scenes and they've gathered up the community, the village members, uh, the, the pack to come after you and the whole pack, he, yeah, this is absolutely a king of cups behind the scenes. The whole community, including him, they are under some type of judgment by the spirit realm. Someone may want to come in and tell you how sorry they are for what they did to you. They're not sorry. Someone wants to come in and cause nothing but illusions. Someone wants to come in and cause nothing but illusions. And he does plan on going for it. He's attempted a few times. And all he's coming in to do is weigh you down and cause you some type of ending. Someone may even be trying to literally unalive you. And they're going to end up in some type of legal situation, right? Maybe they were hired to take you out. But someone is very determined to block your forward movement. Temper with any type of commitments going, being given to you. Any type of new offers. This is someone working with a community behind the scenes. Yeah, a toxic group of people behind the scenes to block an empress energy. If you have some type of job offer that's coming towards you or some type of I don't know what it is. You have some type of ace of pentacles offer coming towards you. And this ex of yours is working with a community to block this offer from coming towards you successfully. There is a mother figure in the background that's going through some type of ending. Either a mother figure, a wife, someone wife or mother is heavily into Rachel's and things like that. And she's going through some type of ending. Someone is living in fear quite a lot because of what they invested in as far as when it comes to taking you down, destroying you for no reason. Someone may not want you dating either a ex-husband of theirs or a husband of theirs where they've been living separate for years or something like that. It's like they're not too, it's like they're married legally on paper, but they haven't been together for years. Like the relationship has been over for a long time. Um, but there's something where it's that like these two are obligated to each other. I think business why or something like that. I will not get involved with this masculine until they are officially separated on paper because there is there's something where it's like a white figure who said that let's say you get with this masculine and he's not legally separated from this woman. She can say that you wrecked her home because this is something the energy I'm getting from from this wife figure. This is not something that you can pass her. This is someone that has said that you caused some type of ending in their home. You caused a separation, even though they were separated way before you came along. This is a woman that has said that her husband cheated on her with you. Her husband did this. Uh, you caused problems in their relationship the whole time. You had nothing to do with this. So until this man is separated from this woman, do not entertain him because this is something that the woman is just eagerly waiting to happen so that she can say you caused a separation or caused some type of problem in their marriage. This could be a Sagittarius that's wanting to have some type of brand new passionate beginning and wants to build a family with you, maybe trying to get away from a community or a relationship and to have some type of a, a new start somewhere, but there's something that's holding this person back because you intuitively know that this person is very karmic, right? And this woman, this wife of his or whoever this is, I don't know. It's under judgment. They're, they're all under judgment and they're all weighed down. 
right? Going through endings, all of them. Okay. So I don't know if this is like a Sagittarius or a, a Leo or whoever. Okay. Because I've seen the strength card under my deck for quite a while. If anyone comes to you and you know they are married, do not entertain them. Let them go figure it out. If they say, oh, well, you know, I can't really leave my wife because we are uh, attached business wise or this. Yeah, they are attached business wise. They have some type of business obligation to one another. So if he tries to leave, then she's going to try to take everything from him. So he's not going to want to leave. Do not entertain this man. I don't know what the heck this is, why I'm picking up on this, but do not entertain this man unless they are officially done on paper. Because there's a woman planning to smear your character and lie and say that you caused them some type of separation. But he does want to work with you. Even if this person comes towards you and gives you an offer of work, keep it at that. Just work. Nothing but work. It should be nothing but business between you and this person. Do not, do not date anyone that's still legally married. This is absolutely a wife's character, maybe the wife of a king of swords. And she is taking some type of action to block some type of offer from coming towards you. So thread with caution, okay? Do not. She's going through some type of ending and will have to move on because the truth is revealed. There's a whole family here being exposed because they've all participated in something they should not have been participating in. The whole group is going through a tower. Listen, I I don't know if I've told this story before. Why I'm so stern on people not dating men or women that are not legally separated on paper. I was dating this man. Like my last partner was with this heifer for six years, right? And the first year into the relationship, like my spirit guide kept telling me there's something up about this man. You need to look into it. And I was like, well, I don't even know how to do that. But I kept putting it up. But whatever it was, it kept, it it stayed on my mind, honey. I kept thinking about it when I would see him. There's something up about this man. What is it about this man? Something is up, okay? Mind you, I had already cut this man in a few lies before. And I kept trying to just ignore it. I'm like, girl, your little uh, ting ting box, you need to calm down, okay? Just, you know, be open-minded, step out on faith, uh, and give him a chance. Everything will be okay. No, everything was not okay. My ancestors kept telling me, look into him, look into him, look into him, you know? And I would get online and look into this man. I couldn't find anything and so one day he left and went to work because at this point it's like my ancestors was like you're not going to sleep until you do what we told you to do and we told you to look into this man so i decided to look into him and what i found was nothing but problems okay so what i found out is that this person has been had been married never told me he was married and i had to find out for myself so um When I found out he was married, honey, how did I find out? I waited till he went to work and I went through everything he had in that house. I said something ain't right about this man here. I need to figure out what the heck is going on because something just ain't something in. Okay? Two and two ain't adding up. So I go in there, look, found documents about marriages. They have been living together, been married since 2007 or something like that. Like a long, long time. May have even had a child. I found a picture of a son or something like that. Honey, when I said my, 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 my conscious mind, conscious brain was telling me wait till he gets from work so you can talk to him about it. Uh-uh. My subconscious said, no, 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 no. Contact him. So I sure did. I told him, oh, you're married. You didn't tell me you were married. You should have told me you were married so that I could make that decision if I wanted to be with you. And I wish the answer would have been no. I'm not dating you. You're married, right? And he told me some ridiculous lie that I'm not going to sit on here. That's his business. But when I said from that day on, this was my energy towards him. Stay the heck away from me. I don't want nothing to do with you. But would you believe why I was planning to leave this person and have a new star somewhere else leaving behind. I find out that I'm expecting a child with this person right now. I'm freaking way down 
wanting to put an end to this mess, trying to keep my distance from him, but I can't because now we are attached, right? So we are obligated to what each other basically through the, through the child for our lifetime. This is kind of how, like, I'm telling you, be careful. Be careful when you get with people. Make sure you know the truth about them. When you find something out, ask them about it. Do not get with anyone that's obligated. I don't care if they say you two, the, the two of them have been separated for 10 years. To, I don't care about any of that. Leave. Leave them alone. Do not entertain anyone that's obligated. Do not. So I don't know if there's someone out here that likes to date married men with this coming out. You may want to separate yourself from that. You may want to let go. Okay? Let go. Thank goodness I'm no longer with that liar because that's all he is, is a freaking liar. But you need to be cautious. Be cautious of the people you uh, allow in your home. Okay? Be cautious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this whole community, because of the manipulations and everything they were causing, the truth is out, right? You could have a king of wands that's removing himself from this community, choosing to see things from a higher perspective because the truth is exposed, right? Someone is realizing that he may have martyred himself participating in something with these people against you. It may have blocked some type of opportunity for you two to work together. So maybe he's trying to keep his distance from these people until he leaves, right? Maybe going through some type of ending. Someone thought that you may have betrayed him, but you didn't. He was ill-advised and whatever advice he was giving led to him betraying your friendship with this person. This was a group of people lying to this masculine. Maybe his wife was even part of it. I don't know if this is someone that has a wife or a mother figure that was part of causing this stagnation uh, with this group of people as well. Okay, so whoever this king of wands is, you, you need to be mindful as well that when he comes towards you, he is genuine. Someone may be married. He may be married. He's under judgment, may want to ask you for forgiveness. Someone needs help with healing, okay? He may need help with healing because there's something about this man. I don't know if, like, I don't know. The Sagittarius came out again. This man, I don't know. There's something about him. J just thread with caution. Thread with caution, Okay. Just thread with caution. There's a king of cups going through an ending behind the scenes. I'm telling you, he's lost a lot of money. Maybe in some type of remorse that he lost his relationship with you as well. Um, someone may be going through some type of dark night of the soul, but he's uncertain about his future. He's trying to find you, trying to communicate with you. You're not responding. He may not be able to find you or get in contact with you or get into your energy, but he's losing his SHIT behind the scenes because you're going to be receiving some type of commitment and offer in line work that is being protected and it's going to be very influential or have you being very influential in the world. You will be successful in whatever this is, but he wants to come in and put an end to it. But this is your rebirth, right? Your second chance or whatever chance this is uh, get, being given to you by the universe. So I will thread with caution, okay? Thread with caution. Yeah, there's a, I, I knew it. There's a queen of source in here. She's nothing but a liar. This woman is nothing but a liar. Every time someone wants to take action to come towards you, she tells a new lie. She tells a new lie. Okay, she, yeah, she tells a new lie right here. She tells a new lie and she's going through endings. All of her lies are being exposed. She's being seen as nothing but a liar. She could be going through some type of ending. This is her blocking you from receiving your ears of pentacles. And this is something being protected by your ancestors. You will be victorious and it, it is going to lead to multiple streams of incomes for you. But someone is being seen as a liar. Every time someone wants to give you an offer, she steps in there and tells a lie. But it's secure. The whole family, I'm telling you, the whole family is going through some type of ending. There's a whole tower that's taking place with, um, in these people's lives on a grand scale and also on, individ on an individual scale. Each member of this community, this family, they're going through endings. And they're going to keep going through those endings until they learn to back the heck up or leave something alone. Okay? 
Spirit wants you to know that you have a lot to offer to the world. And this is what these people are trying to block. They don't want people seeing you for who you are. Uh huh. So whatever problems they're trying to cause you, you will overcome those problems. Okay. Uh, keep your mind on positive thoughts. But there's a queen of swords in a community that's very vain, very superficial. All she does is come up with ways on how to cause someone else blockages and endings. Someone is trying to smooth, smooth talk, smooth talk uh, a masculine into blocking or holding back some type of offer from being given to you, but he sees this woman for exactly who she, she, who she is. So someone could be like being loyal to you behind the scenes and they are protecting some type of offer for you or some type of blessing for you. So that's not something she's going to be able to do. Every time she tells a lie or uh, every time they do something to block you, there's some type of, this pe these people are going through it. They are going through it. They are going through it. The whole family. It's like their, their, their finances are being depleted. They may be having a hard time with money. People behind the scenes are having financial issues. Okay. Having some type of hard time. Anyways, um, we, uh, have the dog out here, um, for our tea leaf Oracle cards. And this has, to, obviously the dog has to do with loyalty and friendship. So you may have a friend in here in this community that you don't know that is being loyal to you and keeping something safe or maybe even speaking on your behalf and advocating for you. We have the um, mushroom in here. There's some type of change. <sighs> There's some type of change going through, going on in these people's lives. And then there's a change going on in your life. Okay. Whatever change you're about to go through is going to be for your growth. Okay. Something is about to happen for you. That's going to lead to like a lot of growth for you. It's going to happen in like on an unexpected way. So just, just be patient with yourself. Uh, the universe is asking you to be patient with them. Okay. And then we have the horseshoe here, which is for good luck as well. So whatever change you're going through is going to lead to some type of fulfillment for you. Like you're about, you're going through some, some type of spiritual, emotional, physical, psychological, I don't know what it is, some type of change or growth. Okay. And it's going to lead to abundance for you in a lot of different ways. And people always tend to liken abundance to like money. That's not the only kind of abundance in life. Abundance can be healing. Abundance can be, uh, new partnerships and friendships and things like that. Uh, in, abundance can be in happiness, fulfillment. Uh, abundance can be in you accepting life for what it is and stop, you know, daydreaming over the top. Uh, abundance can be you not, you learning not to settle anymore for mediocrity and, you know, people shorthanding you and think abundance comes in different ways. Okay. So whatever it is that you are, um, going through is for your highest good. Okay. We have to scroll out here at the bottom. Someone could be sick within a family. We should go along with what I had mentioned earlier, but someone passing away. Um, but just know that, I mean, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So if maybe someone reaches out to you as a practitioner or something, they want you to help with their family member that's passing away. I don't know if you should be involved in that. Maybe help them from a distance or something. But whatever it is that they are going through, that really has nothing to do with you because the energy around those people is not one that you need to be around. Someone is transitioning to the spirit realm. They need to... The family, if they want to help this person transition, they need to let go of their negative energies. Maybe get another practitioner to help them. Okay. Um, but you, I don't think you should be part of that, but that's just my personal opinion. So I'm not going to enforce it on anyone. I'm not going to force it on anyone. Okay. Go move forward with your life. Some of these people, when they're attacking innocent people, they don't feel no ways about it. 
There could be someone that spend their entire life stealing money from people, blocking other people's future. And this is why he's maybe maybe in a sick bed now, feeling uh, unworthy to go to a better place. And he's afraid to die and things like that. Our lives always catch up to us. That's why you can be out here 24-7, blocking other people's lives, stealing and things like that. And your old age will always catch up to you. No one can avoid that. Um, it said, angels ask for your attention, open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus in word through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Okay, 555. I, uh, I'm sorry, a mature shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic, which goes with that unexpected change or some type of change you're going through that's for your growth. 12, creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Okay. Five, five, ten, completion of something of a cycle. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change. A need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I am evolving. Yeah, whatever is happening is for your highest good. It's going to help you evolve in the way you're supposed to. There could be someone in here that's going through some type of ascension. Um, maybe that's for you. It's a going forward. Don't dwell on the past. Be focused on creating a brighter future. Manifest new. Okay. And they said, don't compare. Comparison diminishes your sense of self-worth. Honor your uniqueness. Okay, so there we have it. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.